What's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. So today, uh, well, I was I was doing a little bit of work here. As you can see, um, I was trying to get some storage figured out here because, like, my storage is atrocious. It's so bad. Uh, so I was starting to get things figured out, thing getting things lined up, and well, guess what? We finally got it. We got our drill tier four that produces 459 pressure. That is compared to 17, so that's huge. But it requires a lot of super alloy in osmium so we're gonna work on that but i want to get my uh, i want to get my storage stuff figured out so i think what i want to try is i want to try this big living compartment because i'm curious if this compartment doesn't have all of these like middle parts so if we go and look in this room right here there's no middle section so i'm wondering if i build this if it won't have the uh those middle sections in it and it'll just be like one big open room like this because if that's the case oh, oh, oh that's what i want I want that but we need super alloy and i think i'm like just fresh out of super alloy so we're gonna have to make our own which is completely fine i'm, I'm completely down with that um, i'm just gonna go ahead and throw everything in here but i want to check that out first thing because i think that could help our storage thing also also if that room looks like this room and it just connects nice and clean and open like this i think we might uh not do we might be doing some serious base rearrangement here because i think i'd like that a little bit better but all right let's go ahead let's get some things done hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things we need two super alloy iron and titanium so i need one of every resource um so i'm gonna go ahead and grab two of everything and hope that i have the aluminum that i need all right so i think that's all we need right one two three four five six different elements that's gonna create our super alloy there's our second super alloy now all we need is three iron three titanium let's make this happen let's see what this thing is going to look like three iron three titanium and let's go ahead and let's put it maybe over here i'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this guy and this guy for now and then let's go ahead and get this thing in here okay so if we do that what is the difference oh my gosh oh wait it's dark why is it so much darker in here how come there's no lights in here a lamp that can be placed anywhere let me get a lamp i don't um it's super dark like there's no there's no lighting whatsoever let me grab a cobalt let me grab a cobalt and see if um that'll make it look any better so area lamp so like if i put this was that supposed to be like a little solar panel oh my gosh you can change the color of it Oh, that is pretty cool. Um, let's put it in the middle of the room. I don't like that there's no lights in here. Like, what the heck? I mean... <sighs> hmm. Why wouldn't they put lights in here? I don't i don't really understand that you know what i mean I don't, I don't really get it um so let's see here i mean this still could work for storage but if it's this dark i mean okay it's not dark now is it because it was just nighttime out it might have just been because it was nighttime out okay so this might actually work for what we want okay i'm gonna grab all the iron and i'm gonna go through i'm gonna place storage in here I'm gonna see how the storage fits because if it fits like right next to each other oh this is already looking way way better i think oh holy grass is the, the moss it's green it's turning green <laughs> oh that's amazing oh it's turning green it's turning green look at this oh this is so exciting it's so exciting okay sorry i yes it's exciting okay it is 
See, now it's not that bad in here. I guess it's just at nighttime. Okay, I want to keep up putting these up. I want to see how these are going to like all line up together. You know what I'm saying? Man, that lines up pretty darn nice. Yeah, I think we're going to be going with that. So I'm going to have these here, and then we're going to throw another row here and here. Yep, that's going to be our storage. That's going to be our storage solution for sure. Uh, we just got to figure out how this is going to look on this side. You know what? Let's let's start with this side first. And then and then we'll do that back wall. Maybe we won't have to do that back wall. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. So basically, I need to go through, rename all of these to everything and hope for the best. Okay, all of my storage has been organized. Oh my gosh, this is a wonderful feeling. So as you can see, these fit perfectly right in. This room is amazing, by the way. During the daytime, it's good. This light will help at night. But as you see, we got titanium, iron, silicon, cobalt, magnesium, aluminum. Uh, I did actually decide that these will work right here too. You can put two of them right next to each other like this. Works perfectly. So on this side, I have overflow uh, because I already have a magnesium completely full. So basically any resources that are like, you know, these are already full. We'll just throw them in these as temporary storage, you know, until we go through them and then, uh, you know, so on and so forth. You always have to have an overflow. Um, and then over here, you know, we got water, sulfur, ice, super alloy, iridium, uranium, osmium, and fabric. I think that covers pretty much everything considering I don't have anything left in my inventory. And everything is nicely sorted. Oh, it's so nice. We have no more stuff over here. Um, and then over here, we've got flowers, flowers, because we've got a lot of these flower plant things. Um, algae is going to go in here. The bio nugs we'll put in there and then plants. So plants that are used in like this stuff. So like eggplant and squash. Um, so eggplant, squash, and mushroom. We'll put those in, in this plant one. And then over here, we've actually got the food, which is like the edible stuff. So actually that eggplant needs to go out of there. Um, and then seeds for basically all the growing things. So, uh, we need to go ahead. We need to get a bunch more bio tubes set up as well. So we can get those things going. Oh my gosh. This room though is fantastic. I just, I, like I said, I kind of wish it just had the light in the top, just like these ones did. Uh, but I like that there's no, like no middle part here. So this makes for a phenomenal room. I am thinking about possibly using this room to do all this stuff, but it would feel much bigger and much more open. Cause like these big, huge pillars right here are kind of a pain. I kind of wish these pillars would just go away when you connected four of them. You know what I'm saying? Or like when there was two, like maybe those would go away, but I don't know, neither here nor there. So that's looking good. Moss is good. Now we need our drill tier four. So we need six super alloy and three osmium. Um, I yeah, look at the ground is actually turning green. I can't even believe that's super cool. So let's go ahead and grab all of this stuff. And then let's throw that into storage and then we're going to go ahead and make some super alloys up and then we're going to get some drill tier fours going because drill tier threes oh they required aluminum okay cool so that'll be our good uh, that'll be a good aluminum source uh let's go ahead and get all this stuff put away oh this is so nice I've been meaning to do this for so long. Magnesium. We have so much magnesium. I wish there was something to do with magnesium. Uh, we do have the shredder machine destroys objects placed inside. Um, and then there's like a recycling machine too. So like, I'd like to get those two machines going, but I, I just hate to shred resources. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like we're always going to need it anyways. So like, why not? All right. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and let's tear down all of our drills over here. How much power do those things take? 45.5. That's not bad. Considering how much power it's putting out. All right, let's go. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab some of these. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and grab the other materials that we need to make the super alloys. Then we also have to get osmium. Oh, osmium. Yuck. Actually, Osmium is not that bad. It's the super alloy that's the worst. Like, let's be real. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm missing cobalt and magnesium and silicon. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six of those. We need three Osmium. One, two, and three. 
let's go ahead and let's get our drill tier four built so our pressure well we didn't have a good pressure reading before because i already uh, deconstructed some of those but we'll go ahead and put these out here you know this is all turning green right here and we'll just throw our drills like right here how big is this thing oh it's it's sizable holy moly all right so we'll throw one here oh my gosh that is a thing of beauty that is a thing of beauty that is amazing okay so the only thing that i think is really giving us pressure is that thing well i mean these are giving us pressure too but oh let's go see what that like one machine because that was 400 what did it say 459 versus 17 so we had what six of these at 17 that wasn't even breaking 100 oh look at the pressure 9888 oh that looks good that looks good okay we need another one <laughs> we need more uh let's see so i need magnesium and silicon again okay so we've got our six super alloy here we need more osmium though so we're gonna go out and grab a bunch of osmium uh oh actually i have the three osmium perfect easy enough uh we we're also under attack by the whoa those aren't uranium they're just regular okay well let's wait for this one to get done good gosh they're really pelting us today aren't they how's our moss looking 43.845 percent looking wonderful all right, it appears to be safe. Let's go find our osmium. Drop some iron and silicon and stuff. Some cobalt. Okay, that's not what we're here for, though. Pay attention. Focus. You know, I might have actually already gathered all the osmium out of this cave. <laughs> I don't even remember. I probably did. Oh, yeah. Sure did. Okay. There's another cave that has osmium in it. We'll go grab that one. You know, I need a snack. Any of these have snacks in them? has a water bottle let's take that with us no snacks darn it maybe this container will have a snack in it oh it's got a chip nice i'm leaving everything else in there though look at all the pointy sticks the pointy sticks the pointy sticks hate to be flying around and getting paled on one of those Ooh, not fun all right so this is our other osmium cave Hello there, Osmium. I need you. You know, I never realized this cave actually split off like this. Because we went out there and found the underground place last time. We didn't go over here. Uh, I don't really see anything, though. All right, let's head back. Um, I'm actually kind of curious. I think there might be another cave that I've not found before. Because on my way over here, I was like, you know, it looks like there might be a cave that way. If we have time to go check it out, we will. I think we should have time. I think we'll be all right. But what I was thinking is I feel like if we follow these rocks around this way, I wonder if these lead up to a cave anywhere. Maybe not. Okay, never mind. We just clip out of the map. Okay, let's head back. <laughs> so one thing I'd like to see with the uh, the jetpack, I kind of wish they would tweak it just a little bit to where it gave you a little bit more time as far as like the drop off on stuff. Um, because like when I'm over in that canyon area, so like if I'm here, it's like it it immediately just drops down. If there's like you know nothing right underneath of you. And I kind of wish it would give you a little bit of like a glide period, you know, so you could cross those those things a little bit easier. Um, okay. Osmium, nice. So we just need the three osmium. Uh, let's go ahead and check our chip. What is this guy? Decode. Oh. It won't decode. Maybe we can't decode anymore interesting all right let's go put another uh another t4 drill out man those drills look sick i like those things all right there's another one. Ooh, buddy i bet we got all the pressures now yeah food level low actually let me grab the water out of here too 
How's our pressure? Oh, 19,000 right now. Oh, that is what I am talking about. So that... I mean, we still need 364 pressure in order to get our ore extractor tier 2, which I really, really, really want. Mm, I really want that. I'm thinking we might need to get more. <laughs> I'm thinking we might need to dedicate everything to drill tier 4s and get some more rockets going so we can get this, like, insanely high. How's our power? Oh, we still have 414. Okay. All right. So... I need more super alloy. That area is pretty much tapped out. We've gone through that area. We haven't gone into the canyon yet. Should we go to the canyon? Let's go to the canyon. Let's take a trip to the canyon. And let's see if maybe we can find some super alloys there. Look at all the bodies of water everywhere. Man, this planet is becoming so nice. This is going to be a getaway. Like, this is going to be a resort. A destination planet, if you will. I mean, look at this is all starting to turn green we got a little bit of moss coming in here but here let me give you an example of what i was talking about with the uh, the drop off here so like boom that's what i'm talking about <laughs> how it just drops off i kind of wish it give you like just a little bit of like a hover period to where you can make like the crossings and stuff but like these like it's like no it's like you're on it or you're not you know like there's no like there's no grace period there all right so here we go here is our canyon let's go ahead and let's pop down here so we got crates we've got let's hope i was honestly kind of hoping to see some super alloy down in here let's go ahead and just set up a um a little bit of a base station here And then let's go see what we can find. Let's open up some chests. We got this. We got a little crash over there. A little bioplastic nugget. Not bad. So we've got basic resources down here. Nothing. Of, oh, we got a cave. Sulfur. Okay. Osmium. Ooh, there's another blueprint chip. We must have unlocked them all already. Or maybe not. Uh, where does this go? Okay, it takes us down there. So we've got more osmium here. That's good to know. Where does this way take us? To Nothingsville. This is all just sulfur. Okay. Still good to know. I'm glad that's there. Because we are running. We were running a little low on the osmium. A little bit of super alloy. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you. So we've got a crash over here. Can we go in this one? Another chip. More stuff. You know, I have yet to find a tree seed. Uh, you know what? The tree seed, I bet you, is a DNA multi or uh, gen the genetically modified stuff. I bet you that's where a tree seed comes from. Probably, probably. Okay. Let's go drop this stuff off and keep exploring this area. I feel like there's more caves here. Definitely. I mean, there was that cave right off the bat. Is there a cave right there next to my base? Kind of looks like it. We might have to go in there. Looks like a super teeny tiny secret cave. Oh, I don't have enough iron for a big storage box. Wow, what a ripoff. Okay, hold on. What's this? Nothing. Okay. You know, I'm just going to grab some iron and make a big storage. <laughs> All right. So we went that way. Let's go this way this time. And then we'll loop around. Caves, caves, looking for a cave. Never know where a cave might be. Okay, so we're coming out by the, uh, the ring. I wanted to just pop around. 
Make sure I'm not missing anything. We should go up here. Maybe there's a super secret cave in here somewhere. I mean, or not. I mean, maybe, maybe there's not. <laughs> No super secret cave there. Okay. Oh, what do we got in here? What is this? Some iridium. All right. Second iridium cave. Nice. Nice. Is there any other caves that go out of this cave area? No. We've got some media tours. Meteor just coming after us. You know what? Let's pop back and go grab some oxygen real fast. So I'm not seeing any other super secret caves around here. There wasn't one like behind this ship, was there? Nope. No super secret cave. Yeah, no, that looked like it was really kind of the only cave. I could have missed one, though. Okay, I'm going to go and grab the stuff that I want to take home. I want to take these chips just in case. Definitely the super alloy and definitely the rods. Probably the mushrooms. Explosive powder. Yeah, like explosive powder is pretty easy to make. All right, let's start heading back. My, uh, my water's getting a little low. But we'll keep an eye out for caves on the way. I'm going to go back a different way. That looks like it'd be a cave entrance right there. Just saying. You know, we're going to have to look at like every rock face. Just to make sure there's not like a super sneaky cave entrance somewhere. Because I mean, there could be like one like right here that I missed, you know? I mean, there's not one right there. I was just saying as an example. Could be. Oh my gosh. Stuff is really turning green over here. Like, look at that. Look at that whole hillside. Oh my gosh. We got some greenery coming in. All right. Let's organize everything. Let's try to decode some chips. Yeah. I think we're done. I think we're done with the chips. So I think we need another we need another seed storage. <laughs> we got a lot of seeds. All right, so there's seeds, and then I want to put another thing over here of like uh, crafted. So that way things that we craft, like you know the basically anything we craft in here, if we have extras, we'll throw it in there. Other than the bio nugs, because like the bio nugs, we always find those. So okay. How's the moss? 67%. Man, that looks like it's doing nice. Got some good rain coming in. I love that the ground is slowly shading to a green color. <laughs> oh yeah, look, you can see on the map too. It's like all starting to turn, turn green. So I'm gonna go ahead and replant these, but I'm gonna plant these to uh, mushrooms and then squash because I know that those are some recipes that we're going to need in the future and we're still good on the beans beans are basically good for eating so we're still good on those and then we need to do some more exploration we got to find more things I feel like there's there's things out there we have not found yet also this map doesn't cover the whole area Cause like the canyons over here, the, the spikies things are over here. Yeah. There's more to be found, you know? So another area we haven't explored is this area over here. I've been in the gaseous area, but I've never explored like beyond this area. So there could be a cave in here somewhere too. Kind of hard to see. But like, what's, what's beyond the sand wall, you know? Curious.
wonder if it'll hurt us if we go in there. It'll hurt us if we go in here. No? Is there a cave hiding under here? <gasps> there is a cave. There's a super secret cave behind the thing. Some bio nugs. Some more osmium. Sulfur, osmium. There was a cave behind there. Ha ha ha. Hold on, let's see. So we made it like halfway through. Ah, oh, I gotta head back. Unless we get an oxygen can can canister here somewhere. Water. Nope. All right, let's head back. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Not even close. I got ooh shinied. I got ooh shinied, and I know I dropped some stuff too on my way back. How much did I drop? Oh jeez, I dropped a decent amount. Is it this chest right here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I got ooh shinied, and it killed me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so my iridium's full. I'm gonna go ahead and make a uh, another rod here. That's kind of what I've been doing with the storage for iridium and uh, uranium is once it's full, I just go ahead and make one more rod because then that makes sure, you know, we have enough of whatever we need to do. So like I got rods in here, we got rods in here. We're like, we're, we're looking pretty good. I feel like we're looking pretty good. All right, we're taking another trip over back to the spiky biome because I know there's some crashes in there we haven't checked out yet. There might be some caves. In there. I'm looking for caves now because I feel like we've explored like the main areas. But I feel like there's more hidden secrets that we haven't yet discovered. All right, spikes. I know you're hiding stuff. I want to cruise around the walls. It's like, there's that thing. Here's the other side of the aluminum area. Uh, we've come out on the back side of this wall before when we were over in that new area. With the underground area. Actually, speaking of, I wonder, there might have been a cave in there somewhere. Any caves hiding? No. I don't really think I'm supposed to come back here. Okay, and then there's that cave that we went through last time. All right, let's get this, uh, let's check this stuff out. Go ahead and deconstruct some of this, some of these goodies. You know, there's a golden chest over here somewhere too. Almost positive there is. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to go back. Did I make a room over here? I don't think I did. There's one over in the aluminum area. Let's just go over there. We'll grab some oxygen. We'll come back. It's closer. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if there's a cave hidden in uh, this aluminum area. More chips. Hey, I guess if they ever introduce any more items in the game that are unlocked via the chips, well, we should be good. All right, let's go check this thing out. I don't know if we can even, I don't think there's anything we can even do with this one. Nothing up here. Nothing around that way. Another chip. Another crate. Another crate. And my inventory is full. 
<laughs> okay. You know, I'm almost positive there's a golden crate here somewhere too. It's like behind one of these things, but I don't remember exactly where. All right, let's get everything stored up. So the next thing that we really need here is we need the oxygen rocket. So I think we're going to have to work in increasing our biomass because we need this biomass rocket right here. 175 increases uh, moss spread, gives global generation bonus, a spreading bacteria from outer space. We definitely need that. Um, oh, algae generator tier two. What does the tier two require? Uh, plastic nuggets, fertilizer, water, magnesium, super alloys. And we've got these. And this is generating 0.6 biomass. This generates 17 biomass. Uh, that's way better. Let's go with that. Oh, actually, hold on. What about our tree bark stuff? Tree bark. Interesting. I guess we'll just store that. You know what? We should make a storage container for that up here as well. Because I am always going to forget. You know what? We'll throw that with plants. Why not? Probably going to forget about it quite a bit, but that's okay. Uh, let's go deconstruct our bio or our uh, algae generators and let's get the tier twos going. All right. So for tier two, we need a thing of fertilizer. And we picked up one of those out in the, the out in the wastelands. So let's go and get tier two in there. Now, if I wanted another one, two super alloy, two bioplastic nuggets, and another fertilizer. We've got the bioplastic nuggets. Uh, what do we need for fertilizer? Three algae. Oh, and we need a sulfur. Easy enough. All right, so there's a fertilizer. And then we need just two super alloys. All right, I think that's worth it. Because we got to get that. We got to get the um, that rocket. That'll help our numbers go up much, much quicker. Perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There's going to be algae everywhere. Did we unlock tier four heaters yet? Oh gosh, not even close. We need more oxygen for tier four heaters. Okay. So let's get some more heaters in here. I mean, we got, we got the rods for it. Like we've, we got all the materials. Like we might as well. And then we'll also get some more food growers going too. All right, and then food growers, we need aluminum, iron, and water bottles. Shoot, easy enough. All right, let's get all these food growers going. Ha <laughs> ha, look at all these food growers. We need three more. We need three more. We got it. We got to finish it off. Three more iron and aluminum and water bottles. Okay, so now how we can set this up is we can set it up basically because I think there's only... I don't think there's that many. Okay, so we got eggplant, squash, beans... Eggplant, squash, beans, and mushrooms, right? I think those are the only... I'm pretty sure those are the only re those are the only food sources. So we'll go ahead and we'll just have them all going all the time. So let me go ahead and grab... Um... Oh, let me put these away. Let's grab three beans to start with. And we'll put those in here. And then we'll do... Are these done? Oh, these are all done. Nice. And then we'll do uh, we'll do mushrooms here. Unfortunately, I don't have a third mushroom seed, which is kind of crazy. I think we'll have to go back and look to see if I can find some more. Uh, we'll do squash on these three. And then eggplant on these three. And then we have all of our food types growing. We've got the three food for us to eat, which should be that should. Oh, shoot. Water, water, water. Oh my gosh, I almost died. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. So that should work. Let's go ahead and uh, let's throw our plants in here. So squash, mushroom, awesome. Everything's looking wonderful. How did our numbers go for heat? Heat should have went up decently. 1780. It doesn't feel like it went up that high. We added three, well... 
Yeah, we added three more. Oh my gosh, Moss is almost done. We've got to watch the Moss finish, and then that's going to end the episode. Because then we can see what the next stage is. And oh, we got to work towards it. All right, Moss is done. Flora. We're going to have some planties. Okay, so look at that greenery. The ground looks green. It's, it's tinged. So now we're going to have Flora popping up. So that means plants, natural occurring plants, grass, shrubbage. Maybe flowers. I don't even know. How slow is this? Oh, that is. Oh, that's so terribly slow. How is our biomass generation going now? Oh, it's going pretty good. Okay, so 175. We should. Uh, it's not really going that great. I think we might need to get some more algae generators. Oxygen is 350. Biomass is 17. You know what? That's better than our plant oxygen things, huh? Of course, there's no reason to get rid of those. Um, I guess we could actually add some veggie tube tier threes because those are like super easy too. fluid level critical. Um, oh, let me grab my bark while I'm up here. Man, I am always going to forget about this bark, but at least we have it. I'm going to say that we need that bark in order to make a tree seed. Because I think we're going to unlock. It was the DNA thing. Um, it was biomass rocket flower spreader tier two. There's the food grower tier two. Where's there was like a DNA thing. Oh, right here. DNA manipulator manipulates DNA to create new genes. And I'm wondering if that's where we're going to get our tree seed from. Tree spreader. At 7.5. Yeah. See, I feel like, yeah, that's probably. Okay. So we'll probably end up getting that before we get this. Which would make sense. But once we get that rocket and we get oxygen increased by a thousand percent, everything's going to speed up again, too. All right. So there's our greenery. There's our moss. Look at that. Oh, it's green. It's green. Wonderful, wonderful. But that's going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, uh, lots more. Oh, this, like this is super mossy over here. Look at that. Uh, next episode, I'm hoping again that we hit the oxygen rocket. And then we need to find... I guess we don't have to find super alley. We're just going to have to keep crafting it. So I'm just going to have to basically make sure that I'm grabbing this all the time and going out and finding aluminum because aluminum is the one thing that we are going to need to make the super alloys. So, um, but yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.